Hello there, this is Eleni and I'm here with my mentor Richard and we're going to talk about interior design maybe? Or Again? Some, some aspect of it. <laughs> yes. That's all we talk about. One That's of the most important about. aspects of it. That's right. We're going to talk about the mentor-mentee relationship. And um, we're going to talk about, about how I kind of seduced my, my mentor. Just from my side, I am the mentee. And I would like to advise any of you watching it out there that it's very important to go after someone like a mentor. You can't do it on your own. You know, and good mentors know that, and that's why they pay it forward. That's why they do what they do. And when I was in school, I had many instructors, and I had my eyes peeled, and I was really, really looking and searching for that perfect fit. I mean, yes, you want someone who is a fantastic mentor with great experience, but you also want someone that you align with and you get along with. And he was one of my last instructors, and I was just, I was starting to panic. So anyway, I remember this day very clearly. My parents were in town. I remember this whole thing and I said, Matt, I asked my instructor to um, have breakfast with me and I, I'm gonna ask him what I'm supposed to do with the rest of my life now that I'm almost about graduating and I need his guidance. And we went to Dupar's and I sat him down and I said, what am I doing? And, you, and he basically told me what I was gonna be doing. And that was, you're gonna work for yourself, you're gonna open up shop and I'm gonna be right there for you from the minute from today. And that was oh, three and a half years ago. Yes. And remember that not everybody gets told that. Though. Okay. Some people are told they should not do that, right? And it, that's part of mentoring for someone to really become aware of who it is that's applying for the job, underline, underline. The applications I get are numerous, so I'm very selective about who gets selected to do this. But, uh, and there are different ways that you mentor people. Um, one of my questions always is, what do you expect to get out of this experience that we're about to have? And I have to ask that question of myself, too. What am I going to get out of it? Because it's, it's important that you both receive some benefit from it and that you get some benefit that you can walk away with. And for me, it's always uh, exposing me to new talent, new ideas, new thoughts, new ways of thinking things challenging me into areas that I maybe had not thought of or had not allowed myself to go to, and um, keeping me more, more vibrant, I think, than anything else. So, Well, in, in any business also, mm -hmm. uh, and especially in our, our business, is our legacy is to find someone to replace us, okay? Right. And that's part of the process, too. So giving back to the world is for you already to go out and start to look for someone that you can mentor and knowing you as I do, I know that you do do that. Whether you acknowledge it formally or not, there are people that you spend time with and you mentor, both in interior design and other areas too, so that's important. To end our little discussion about this mentor-mentoree uh, relationship that we have and that other people have, it's very important, I think, for us to always pay it forward in the sense that I'm doing this for you and for, for others and that you already should be out looking for the person that you can do the same thing to and that's will, that will be the thing that will make it beneficial to me to know that it continuing on and that it's not just something that's going to end with our um, relationship when you don't need my mentor anymore. Never. <laughs> Never.